Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. Florida has new data privacy protections after a bill was signed into law on Tuesday. But could it come at the cost of small businesses? We take a look. If you need a photographer who can shoot underwater, perhaps you've used Kimber Greenwood with Water Bear Photography, a small business she operates out of Gainesville. I never have a day where I'm like, oh. I don't want to go to work today. <laughs> I love, I love what I do, and I get to go to some of the most beautiful places on this planet. But Kimber worries she may soon have trouble reaching prospective customers. All right, so here it is. All because of Florida's digital bill of rights. The new law allows users to opt out of data collection by online platforms. That may sound great, but nonprofits, local governments, and many, many small businesses like Kimber's use that data to create targeted ads for cheap. Instead of paying around $15,000 for an ad campaign on something like Hulu, about $5,000 a month covers sites like Facebook or Google. Touching people interested in scuba diving and photography. I just want to know, are you interested in what I have to offer? And would you find my ads more interesting than, say, for a pair of dentures or home improvement products? Even so, SB 262 had a lot of support in the legislature, only two no votes from lawmakers. This is huge, folks. Its champions say the law is a crackdown on big tech, noting it does a lot more than just opt outs. This empowers Floridians. You are not just going to be at the mercy of, of Big Brother kind of looking, looking over everything you do and, and collecting all the information about you. Other provisions include requiring platforms offer users better control of what's collected, whether that's through access to it or the power to delete it. Plus, online games and products targeting kids prohibited from taking, sharing, or selling their info. So now if they can't find me, I really do worry about the effect that it's going to have on my industry. Kimber, meanwhile, waits and wonders what this will mean for her small business when that new law comes into effect July 1st of this year. And DeSantis has suggested that more could be done on the federal level with regards to data privacy. He's definitely not alone. There have been growing calls nationally for a federal law as businesses and platforms struggle to conform to different rules that vary from state to state. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.